So one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I make sure that I have control over what's being recorded and what isn't. Uh, and the best way to do that is to do something called Spotlight. Uh, and what that means is, is if I have at least three people chatting at one time, it doesn't work with two, uh, but as long as I have at least three people chatting, I can, in a Zoom chat, hover over any person, it could be myself or somebody else, and I tap these three dots and I can choose to spotlight this video. And what that means is I am setting myself as the uh, the main attraction. I'm the one getting recorded, not anybody else. If a student chimes in, uh, you will hear their voice, but it won't automatically switch to the speaker uh, the way Zoom normally does. Normally, if I'm talking and somebody else jumps in, it will cut away to that person and then come back to the next person talking. If I spotlight it, it prevents that from happening. The camera always stays on me, even though you may hear their voices in here, which is acceptable as far as recording purposes of students. So. As long as I have me set as the spotlight, then when I record my screen, or if I do a share screen, or my webcam, I'm going to be the thing that's recorded, uh, not the students. Now, if I wanted to, while I'm recording, um, I can still pull up individual students. If I click on a student and say, this person looks like they're doing something fishy, I can do what's called a pin video here, which will bring open their video onto my screen. It does not let them know that I'm doing so. I can see whatever it is they're doing. I go along with my song and dance, and then when I'm done checking them out, I can unpin, and it goes back. Now, because I've already spotlighted myself, my video does not change, the recording does not change, it's just me. Now, I can still do gallery view if I want to be able to see myself. The only problem with spotlight is if I go to share screen, then I lose the ability to see a, a gallery view of everybody going on. This is where something like a second monitor comes in handy uh, because I could still share my screen on my main monitor and still have gallery view open in a second monitor to see what's going on. Now there is one other option and that simply has to do with pausing and stopping the recording. Um, so if while I am recording a presentation here, I have a pause button and a stop button. The pause button will simply stop that recording. So if I know, hey, I am talking at the beginning of my recording and then I'm gonna have student activity, I could pause it before that student activity and then whenever things came back to me, I could go ahead and resume to jump back to that point. The only problem about pausing is that if a student chimes in while I am talking, it will still cut away uh, to that speaker view.
Now by default when you do a video chat, it's going to record whoever is doing the talking. So if I'm over here in this screen and then somebody in a different uh, device starts doing the talking, then that is going to simply take over and jump onto my main screen. Uh, which is fine if it's just a conversation between multiple people. But if I'm recording this presentation and I need to make sure that students' faces are not included, uh, then I need to try to prevent that from happening. So you have a couple options. Uh, number one, uh, you always have a pause and stop recording button down here at the bottom. Pause it will stop it right where it is and allows you to start it back up from that exact same point. So let's say I I'm doing an activity where I'm doing the primary um, lecture or the primary instruction and then I'm going to switch over to a student activity, I could simply pause it, do that activity, and then when it comes back to me, unpause it again and then go from there. Um, but if a student chimes in at some point in time during that activity, they are still going to pop up. So probably the best option is to do what they call spotlight your video. And what that means is, is if I am here uh, and I need to be chatting with at least three people, it will not work with two, uh, but at least three people. So with it, so with at least three people, uh, I come up here to myself, or it could be technically any participant if I want. Uh, and if I hover up here at the top, I can clap on these three dots, and there's the ability to spotlight this video. Now, when I spotlight it, what that means is this is going to uh, spotlight this video for everyone. So everyone is going to see this video. Now they can still switch back and forth between different views. They can look at gallery view and can look at other things if they want. But I am going to be the primary focus and I am going to be the one that gets recorded. So I have said this is the main video. I am the show right here and this is the one that is going to get recorded. And if I ever wanted to stop that, I could go ahead and cancel uh, that spotlight recording if I want. Now, that is different than pinning a video. So if I were to cancel that spotlight, uh, another option I have up here is I can pin a video. Uh, what this does is this will simply pull somebody else's video up on my screen, but it doesn't affect anybody else's view and it doesn't uh, prevent them or doesn't let them know that I'm doing it. So for example, if I said, hey, this person's doing something suspicious, I could tap on these three dots and I could say, let's pin this video. I could look and see what they're doing. I continue on with my lecture as I'm watching. They don't get notified that they're being pinned. The recording does not change. Um, everything is still just me looking at what's going on. Um, so as long as I have my video spotlighted, then it is going to record me uh, and nothing else. Now, if I want while I'm recording myself, I can still look at somebody else and maybe clip on these three dots and say, pin this video. And this will pull their video up for me to be able to see what that person is doing. That student doesn't get notified that I'm looking at their screen. Uh, and again, the only thing that's being recorded is the main uh, window, which is the one I spotlighted with myself. So I can always still pull up individual people by pinning them to see what's going on here and then just unpin to send them back. And again, because my video is spotlighted, that's the part that's going to get recorded. Same thing happens if I share my screen. If I go to share my screen and start doing some things, it will only record me and not uh, everything else. Again, students can change that view on their end uh, so they can get out of it if they don't want to see just you. If they still want to go back to gallery view, they can do that but I am the only thing that's going to be recorded. So one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I make sure that I have control over what's being recorded and what isn't. Uh, and the best way to do that is to do something called Spotlight. Uh, and what that means is, is if I have at least three people chatting at one time, it doesn't work with two, uh, but as long as I have at least three people chatting, I can, in a Zoom chat, hover over any person, it could be myself or somebody else, and I tap these three dots and I can choose to Spotlight this video. And what that means is I am setting myself as the 
uh, the main attraction. I'm the one getting recorded, not anybody else. If a student chimes in, uh, you will hear their voice, but it won't automatically switch to the speaker uh, the way Zoom normally does. Normally, if I'm talking and somebody else jumps in, it will cut away to that person and then come back to the next person talking. If I spotlight it, it prevents that from happening. The camera always stays on me, even though you may hear their voices in here, which is acceptable as far as recording purposes of students. So. As long as I have me set as the spotlight, then when I record my screen, or if I do a share screen, or my webcam, I'm going to be the thing that's recorded, uh, not the students. Now, if I wanted to, while I'm recording, um, I can still pull up individual students. If I click on a student and said, this person looks like they're doing something fishy, I can do what's called a pin video here, which will bring open their video onto my screen. It does not let them know that I'm doing so. I can see whatever it is they're doing. I go along with my song and dance, and then when I'm done checking them out, I can unpin and it goes back. Now, because I've already spotlighted myself, my video does not change, the recording does not change, it's just me. Now, I can still do gallery view if I want to be able to see myself. The only problem with spotlight is if I go to share screen, then I lose the ability to see a gallery view of everybody going on. This is where something like a second monitor comes in handy uh, because I could still share my screen on my main monitor and still have gallery view open in a second monitor to see what's going on.